Welcome to another J Crazy News headlines and a special Friday evening to those who are watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers. We start off with the parish of St. Elizabeth where earlier today an accident, a fatal crash occurred along the Fontil Main Road. That's between Brompton, St. Elizabeth and also White House near to the fishing village of White House. Now Fontil is also in the parish of St. Elizabeth. Many persons know Fontil where there was a beach park which is now permanently closed. However, this tragic crash claimed the life of a young Spanish teacher who works at the Savlamar Primary in Westmoreland. Now dead is Daniel Blake you see on your screen right now. In that crash, other persons were seriously injured including the driver the taxi that they were in. Now about 11 o'clock a.m. this morning, Mrs. Blake and the passengers were in a Toyota Wish traveling from Black River to White House when they collided in a pickup truck driven by an American citizen. The taxi collided head-on into the truck driven by a foreigner, I said before, an American. Now, however, Mrs. Blake died tragically from that incident. Now other persons were seriously injured and now they are in hospital. Now that truck which was driven by the American failed to keep left where a taxi with the passengers collided head on in that truck. Now this is very sad. I might add, 31 years of age, nor her husband and her family are left to mourn, not to mention her co-workers and the children that he teach at the Savlamar Primary in Westmoreland. Now, I don't know, you know why these foreigners are giving free reign to drive on Jamaican roads, because they don't know anything about driving on these roads in Jamaica. They are so used to driving in America that they think, right, they think that it's the same road code, the same hand they should drive on. Many foreigners break road codes in Jamaica, but it's being looked over because they are quote unquote foreigners. Do you know how many foreigners have caused serious accidents in Jamaica? Fatal crashes? Many. But yet, it has been ignored because they are quote-unquote foreigners. And foreigners are allowed to drive reckless, live reckless, enjoy life reckless in Jamaica and not face any serious penalties by the court system not to mention the government. It cannot be like this. It cannot continue like this. Young lady, only 31 years of age, they are leaving her family and also her co-workers, her relatives and children that she teach at the Savlamar Primary in Westmoreland. Can you imagine on your way to do your lawful duty and your life snatched now your family is left to mourn i said before these foreigners many of them drive reckless they drive wrong on the jamaican roads and they cause a lot of crashes fatal crashes and their situation, their poor practice on the roads in Jamaica is being looked over, ignored because they are foreigners and quote unquote foreigners are allowed to live reckless, drive reckless, 
do whatever they please in Jamaica and not face any serious penalties. It cannot go on like this. The government need to create or formulate penalties for foreigners whenever they drive reckless on Jamaican roads. Now we head back towards the tragic story event which took place Wednesday night where Kenesha Royal aka Jody lost her life during a dispute with her brother. So the news said it was over food item which I believe it's more than food item. Many persons thought it was over cooked food but other persons say it could have been over barrel. Now I said before I believe that this was more than just over food items. I believe that this dispute was brewing for quite some time now. That the brother who is on the run right now could have used a knife to inflict wounds to two sisters. Now one is dead and the other in hospital nursing stab wounds. Now unfortunately Kenesha Royal aka Jody of New Barrett Road in Marvelly Kingston 20 died. Now this is a occurred in Denver Crescent in Marvelly as well. Now we see these instances play out time and time again all the while in Jamaica. Just a couple weeks ago two brothers was in an altercation over bills where one brother choked his other brother his eldest brother to death over bill payment and now we're seeing where a sister life has been taken by her brother allegedly over food items or food that is what the traditional news media said which i think that is more than just food as i said before earlier in this video now there has to be a solution a reason to really question these conflicts because so many times we have seen in news where siblings kill each other over things which they could have talked about resolved in a mature way a sensible manner letting good faith prevail but however ignorance always wins at the end of the day listen the police cannot stop domestic dispute it's very hard to stop whether relationship dispute or family dispute it's very hard to stop by the police however it's up to persons to be well mature well seen and there has to be one in that mix which would say no 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 does not fight to sit down and resolve the issue in a very mature and adult way without drawing blood or exceeding to violence because a life cannot be bought a person cannot be resurrected unless God say so. So all I'm saying to person in Jamaica, be very mindful, be very cautious, try to resolve issues without the use of violence. Now it was the parish of Sentan, Sturton to be exact, where this individual is no stranger to the public. He is Kemar Matthews aka Bibi or Bitter and now Kemar has been listed as Sentan most wanted. Now this youth has been causing problem in Stereotone where persons are living in fear all because of a gang conflict in the area between him and his one time friends for leadership of a gang in Sturton which is called the Hotel or YCP gang of which is the Gusto faction of Sturton 
Well, Bibi's Arbiter's aim is to take control of the whole of Stereotown in Sentan. Now, this bitter gang violence has caused murders, dull murders to be exact. The killing of two men, if you can recall, Shamrick Edwards and also Garfield Thomas was murdered and their bodies was found with multiple gunshot wounds to their upper body. Now, these two killings, now they were killed this Saturday, but if you can recall, Edwards got a call from Thomas along with another man and he told his girlfriend that he's going to meet Thomas to discuss some things. Now on Saturday, the two men were found with multiple gunshot wounds to their upper body. Now Shamrick Edwards was wanted for the murder of a man who them call Kiral Matthews who is the brother of yours truly Kemar Matthews. Now Kemar Matthews wanted revenge for the killing of his brother. So you know what him do? He make a plan, execute the plan, go on like say, you don't know what go on, then Lord Shamrick Edwards, Garfield Thomas, into a location and order them murdered. Now this was actually revenge for the killing of his brother. As I said before, they were all friends turned enemies. So it's a inter-gang conflict dispute. Now Garfield Thomas was held with a legal gun back in 2018. So these two men who were killed, both Shamrick Edwards and Garfield Thomas were not innocent men. They were actually criminal element. Now the killing of Garfield Thomas and Shamrick Edwards sparked the whole feud of the YCP gang where violence broke out in Stereotown, resulting in another double murder which claimed the life of Akeem Reed and also Javardo Whitlock and also the injury of a woman. Now, the two men were at a shop having drink when a motor vehicle pulled up men armed with firearms. Now, those gunmen pulled their firearms and fired several shots into the group of persons who were having a drink. After the smoke was clear, three persons were shot. Both Akeem and Javarda succumbed to their injuries. The woman was hospital where she was treated for gunshot wounds. Now, Kemar Matthews is now wanted by the police as the main violence producer that is stirring up Stereotone. Now, based on information, it's believed that Kemar Matthews is not in Sentan. And it's alleged that Kemar Matthews, Sentan most wanted, is allegedly in Spain Town hiding. This is Jay Crazy News again. Until then, have a blessed and safe Friday night. Yeah man, I'm here see a black legend. I'm here represent for J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe, and share out the thing. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity monster movements are flow. J Crazy not play with him, I review the thing then. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements are flow. J Crazy not play with him, I review the thing then. We do the thing then, we do the thing then Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle We do the thing then, we do the thing then Check crazy